Where I got my work ethic from was the hours I had to spend learning this. When you sit down and you're not smart, and you have a disability, and you still want to be at the top of your class, I didn't want to just get by. When I realized that I can learn through hard work, and I can beat the valedictorian in school, but I got put in 10 hours more a day than he does. You know what kind of strength comes from that? When you're sitting down, that guy, that, that valedictorian study for an hour, and you know I caught you. I caught you, but I have the work ethic to catch you. This is unbelievable. There's no miles. It's not about the miles. It's that, having a discipline every day to say, for me to learn this one math problem, it's gonna take me 10 hours. And that's where it, and you realize through hard work, you can outwork anybody. What does Ryan Seacrest, Tom Cruise, Oprah, Steven Spielberg, Donald Trump, Joan Rivers, Warren Buffett, Gordon Ramsay, Michael Jordan, Kobe, Tim Tebow, they all have one major thing in common, dude. These people hammer. They beat it to death, okay? Look at Tom Cruise, man. Look at his career. He works constantly. So look, you want to get your work ethic so high that people actually admire you. I'm going to ask you a question right now. Do people know you because of your unbelievable work ethic? If you can't answer yes to that, man, you're not going to get in that top 10%. you got to get in the top. People need to know you for one major thing first. He works. He produces. The guy's there every day. The guy's pushing and shoving. Because the truth is, no matter how good your ideas are, how good your art is, or how good your skill set is, if you're not working, man, if you're not vibrating at a frequency that people say, my God, how does that guy do all that? If you're not vibrating at that rate, 10x levels, massive action, tremendous work ethic, it's just a muscle now, and it's, it's just a discipline in your life, and it's a way, it's a normal way that other people think is abnormal. Look, if you're not working at that level, you're not gonna make it. Get your work ethic in, man. It's the American way, work ethic. What I could control was my work ethic. You've heard me speak many times about outworking everybody, but I think that just feels good when we hear it, but most people don't take it seriously. If you think that I have a little bit of success in my life, I can tell you what I attribute it to. Yes, self-confidence, yes, mindset, visualization, goals, all the things I talk about all the time, listening skills, influence, energy transfer, how to be happier, all of that stuff applies. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. So when you're done, whatever you're doing, whether it's at the gym or phone calls or meetings or in sports, one more shot, one more throw, one more swing of the golf club or the baseball bat, the separator is for the winners, they do one more. I'm addicted to one more. And so I want your mantra going forward to be one more. What does that look like if we're working out? That means when we're in the gym and we say, I'm gonna do five sets of 10, I'm crazy. Like I'm a psycho, because I wanna win. I wanna be somebody. I wanna separate. I wanna compete. And the way I do that isn't with my giftedness. Because I wasn't born with a bunch of gifts. And I think gifts are crap. I think for the most part, gifted people struggle in life because things come easy to them. I like the things that haven't come easy for me in my life. I like that I have natural talents in every area. And maybe you like that about you too. Maybe you've looked at yourself all your life and thought, man, I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. And so at the gym, one of the things I focus on, they say it's five sets of 10. When I'm at 10, I go one more, bam, 11. If I'm running on the treadmill and it's a 45 minute run, I never finish at 45. I always go one more minute, 46. If I'm at the office and I'm supposed to make 25 phone calls that day, when I'm at the end of the day, I always do one more. If I've got meetings, I always do one more. My mantra for three decades in business has been one more.